All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're not new, welcome back. I thought on today's video, what we would do is we'd check out this OXO. Uh, it's basically, if you're not familiar with the OXO, you've probably never been to Mexico. Um, but if you have been, the OXO is basically just like a Mexican 7-Eleven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my mask, as you can see, and we're gonna go inside and take a look at what they have inside of an OXO. So again, it's pretty much just like a 7-Eleven. We'll start here at the uh, refrigerator. So kind of the same products as you find in a 7-Eleven in the US, but kind of different regionally. So that's kind of why I thought it'd be an interesting video. They have like the uh, arroz con leche. What was that? I'm just gonna show it to you. Arroz con leche with cinnamon, canela. And I did ask the permission to film before just to evitar any problems, just to avoid any problems. <clears throat> and uh, okay, so we have the bimbo bread. And again, it's just like a 7-Eleven and you find all the different types of products that you would at a 7-Eleven, but it's kind of cool to check out if you're going to different countries. You can check out the kind of regional products. This one I haven't seen in the US ever before. We have bimbo in the United States, but we don't have this variety, I don't think. Might have to go to a specialty store to get the variety. These are like uh, gancitos, really typical Mexican treat. All the different bimbo products, products. Bottled water, lots of bottled water. I'm pretty sure Mexico is the, if it's not the leading bottled water consumption country in the world, then it's definitely right up there. And then over here we have the garrafones, which are used for, uh, to, to have water in your house. So Coca-Cola, again, it's the, the, it's the bimbo, the, the water and the Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is very popular in Mexico. Have all the different stuff that you can make uh, food at home with. Of course, the jalapenos. I love jalapenos. I'm making soups, probably beans. And then what do we got on this side? We got the tostadas. So again, it's just like it's kind of just like a 7-Eleven you find in the U.S., but just a a Mexican version. And there are oxos all over the place. Everywhere you go throughout Mexico, there is there are oxos, and I actually think that there are some oxos in the United States, but more like around the border region, I think. But let me know: Have you been to an oxo? What is, if you're watching from a different place, what are some different regional things that you can find in the uh, convenience store where you live? Be interesting to hear. Is it like, um, forget what the, it's the Tony the Tiger. I forget what those are called. And then the tortillas, of course, all the tortillas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a puparindo. It's like a tamarind snack. And they, of course, there's spicy food is super popular, spicy food everywhere in Mexico, and even the sweets are spicy. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick look on different things you could get in the Oxo. Mexican convenience store when you're coming down to Mexico. Just kind of cool to check out all the different sort of changes, the similarities. It's all just kind of junk food and crap, you know, crap food, but um, it's just kind of cool how it changes from place to place. Then the Electrolyte are really good if you have a hangover. So I hear, I don't drink, but uh, if you do have a hangover, te recomiendo el electro, the Electrolyte <laughs> drink. It's really good for you. And then the Peña Fiel. These are really good too, just like kind of a uh, seltzer water or sparkling water. But then they have like ones with flavors, which is really good. The lime and salt, kind of like a salty lime drink. Okay. So let's see if there's anything on the back here. All sorts of stuff, all the different candies that you can get. Half of them spicy. Get the uh, alcohol. 
and cigarettes. Cigarettes are a lot cheaper in Mexico. I don't smoke. Well, I smoke cigars, but I don't smoke cigarettes. And the prices are about, well, you can see 55 pesos, around between maybe 50 and 60 pesos. So it's around 250 to $3. So if you're a smoker, it's wonderful if you're a smoker. You can get your cigarettes cheap. And I think that'll be good. It's a little poop, I know. Te compro uno? ¿Quieres uno? ¿Te, te lo compro? ¿Para mí? Sí. ¿Quieres? Sí. Un regalo para dejarme grabar. Sí. Gracias. ¿Sabes? Voy a comprar otro también. Uno para mí y uno para ti. Sí. ¿Te gustan estos? Sí. Está bien. Gracias. 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 Okay, so there you have it, guys. An Oxo, just a typical uh, convenience store that you'll find in Mexico. And, um, Go ahead and leave a like for the video. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, just the, I'm just surprised and amazed and, and so grateful how the, how the channel has grown recently. So I really appreciate all the new subscribers. I'm gonna go ahead and take my mask down. Just off a little bit right now. But uh, again, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't joined our Facebook group, let that ambulance pass. If you haven't joined our Facebook group, uh, join our Facebook group. I post some videos there. Usually I post the videos that I post on YouTube there, but also I'll post um, just some different thoughts that I have about, uh, you know, the different videos that I make and the, the different travels. It's kind of a, another place for me to put the thoughts of the places that I go to and just different thoughts that I have. So check that out. Uh, remember to subscribe, leave a like and uh, all that business. So thanks a lot. See you guys later. Bye-bye.